I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting video on finding probability using counting principles. The question here is, Anil visits four cities A, B, C and D in a random order. What is the probability that he will visit city A before B? So that's the question for you. And we will see how to solve this question in two different ways. So one is we can make all the combinations and then count exactly how many times or A comes before B out of the total number of options. Correct? So, so we want A before B and we are looking for probability that city A is before B. So A is before B. That is what we are interested in finding. So first, let us find our sample space, right? So for sample space, uh, let's write down all the options. Beginning with A, we could have combination cities being seen are A, B, C, D, right? It could be A, B, D, C. And then we can have A, C, B, D, A, C, D, B, right? Or it could be A, D, B, C, A, D, C, B. Now we can begin with B. So it could be A, C, D, B, A, D, C. Or beginning with B, we will bring C first now. A, D, B, C, D, A, B, D, A, C, B, D, C. We can begin with C, right? A, B, D, C, A, D, B, C, B, A, D, C, B, D, A, C, D, A, B, C, D, B, A. We could begin with D. So D, A, B, C, D, A, C, B, D, B, C, D, D, B, I mean, I should have written A, C, let me write A, D, B, C, A, A, C, okay. Uh, D, C, A, B, D, C, B, A. So, these are the combinations. If you count them, you get 6 times 4. So, so we have N, S equals to 24. So, these are total number of combinations in which these cities can be visited. Now, out of these, which ones are where A is before B? Let me call this event as E. Okay, let me call this event as E. So for E, let's figure it out. So for E, what options do we have? Let me highlight first. So A is before B in all these cases, correct? So first six we have got. Let me write it down. We have A, B, C, D. A, B, C, I mean, this should have been D, C, right? A, B, D, C. A, C, B, D. A, C, D, B. A, D, B, C. A, D, C, B, right? So all these. And then A comes before B. None of these since B is the first one. So we can just forget about this row. A, B. A comes before B and three of them. And in this case, A comes before B, uh, A comes before B. So we have six and three, nine, so there should be one more here. Here it is, right? So, so these are all the options, let me copy them. So we have C, A, B, D, C, A, D, B. And then we have C, D, A, B. And here we have D, A, B, C starting with D, A, C, B, and starting with D, C, A, B, right? So these are all the options 
which we have a number of elements which are favorable are let's count 6 and 6 12 right and therefore the probability of event E is uh, favorable over total outcomes and that is 12 over 24 and that is half so the probability is 50 percent or half that's the answer we have got but it took a lot of time imagine if there were 10 cities to visit right it would have taken the whole day doing the same thing we can actually use counting principles to answer such questions and this helps us to understand the basic concept so let us say that there are four cities so these cities could be visited in different orders one order could be a is visited first right now another order could be a is the second city to be visited right third is a is the third city and fourth is i mean i should have written a a is the so a is the third city and option four is a is the fourth city so these are four options now in each option we can apply the counting principles and find the result so let's do that if a is the first city to be visited what about the others we have b c d for visiting next place we have three combinations so three once we take up one we are left with two if you take that one we are left with one in this particular case a has to come before b right so a comes before b since a comes before b so b has to come afterwards so here b cannot come so for this position we have only two choices either it could be c or d so we'll fill this up first since this is the most constrained that's the idea once you fill one up here you're left with two and then just one now in this option since a comes before b so b has to be afterwards right so there is no option b has to be there since b is already there we have only two left here right so first position two once you place that one one left here in this particular case b has to come before but since a is the last we don't have any case here right so in this there is no possibility of wasting a before b so here the result is kind of zero okay now using the counting principles let's count how many possibilities are there when a comes before b and the first city is a it is three times two times one which is six in this case it is two times two which is four here it is two times one which is two in this case it is zero and when you add them up when you add them up what do you get you get six plus four plus two so six plus four plus two which is twelve so these are your favorable events right so this is what we are calling as uh, event e right and from here you know number of favorable events at 12 since there are four cities total number of possible situations are that is the sample space 4p4 which is 4 factorial is it okay so so the probability will be let me write down probability will be probability of the event e e we have defined as a before b is equal to n e over n s correct which is in our case 12 over 4 factorial 4 factorial means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 right so which is 12 over 4 times 3 is 12 12 times 2 is 24 
which is indeed half or 50 percent correct so so we get the same result i hope you appreciate this technique of counting principles especially if you are working with more number cities as i said it is very effective way of solving such questions i am anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best